Uh, hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing okay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing another skull. Um, I'm going to be doing resin and jasmineite with this. And I'm going to be using this beautiful artificial rose um, in this. Um, just sticking with the one flower um, to see how it turns out. So resin first and then jasmineite. So let's go. So I've placed the rose inside the skull. It's really difficult to try and figure out what it's going to look like, but I wanted it to be in that part and then the rest of it will be jasmineite. Um, but yeah, because it's not transparent enough, you can't see very well how it's going to be placed. So you're just kind of like going with it. So I'm going to be using my normal Let's Resin resin. <laughs> um, to get that in there. Um, I don't want to fill it all the way up so I'm going to angle this at a certain point so it can then, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it will be angled so I don't want the resin to be at the front of the skull, I want it to be here at the back. Um, but we'll see how this is going to plan out because it is trying to do a position of the mould which it's not used to doing. It's normally flat but I want it to be like that so let's go so i've decided to angle it in a cup and use some tape to hold it in place so that's what i've done here um so it's just making sure that the rose is angled at a certain point and the resin then sets at that same angle as well so i'm just mixing the resin that i've um made up um, which is let's resin and it's still one part part a one part b um, so giving it a good mix, trying to re release as many air bubbles as possible. However, I do like the air bubble effect when it comes to these type of pores. Um, so I don't want to move the air bubbles too much. So yeah, it's sellotaped to that cup, so it's then sat at that angle. And I'm just going to pour this in as much as I can. Um, and I've just poured, I think, 80 mil, um, so 40A, 40B. Um, and I just want to make sure that that rose is literally full of resin and it's angled in a way that you can see the full view of the rose. Um, so I'm using the stick um, just to make sure that the petals are all spreading out. Again, I still haven't got any gloves. Um, I do need to get some. You know what, I will. As soon as I've done this voiceover over, I will get those on order. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just just putting this all in. Absolutely love the weather um, during this video. Um, although I did notice that the colour alterations are a bit different with this particular light. Um, and the birds were singing. They were beautiful. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this sunshine. And it was like it for full two days. Um, so when you see my jasmineite pour... This is 24 hours after, um, so resin's 24 hours um, curing time, and then I went and put my jasmine eye over the top. Um, but this is me just making sure that the resin is fully submerged within that rose, um, and the the pet sorry the stem of this rose as well um, was within the mold. So when the jasmine eye went on it, it didn't move and it didn't go anywhere. So very happy with that. So it's 24 hours later. So what I wanted to do is actually put some mica powder. Um, so I've used three different colours and I wanted to put those within the petals. Now, knowing that this is voiceover me at this particular stage, these this particular mica powder, what I'm doing here, and I spent a long time doing it, um, this is actually sped up um, as a time lapse um, this particular stage on this video um, so I went and put a lot of mic powder I went into right detail to to put on the petals however it wouldn't have come through it doesn't show through because that rose is so big that it it didn't show this part um, the only mic powder that was actually visible was the mic powder that I mixed in with the jasmine oak. So this particular stage is actually probably a waste. Um, so if anyone's doing this, um, just a tip, if your petal, petals are huge um, 
they're not going to, this particular stage is not going to show through. If it was a smaller type rose um, and it didn't fill the top head completely, then it would work and you would be able to see this effect. But yeah, <laughs> it was a long time mixing the micro powders, um, dusting it all in for it not to actually be visible. <laughs> So yeah, it would definitely have worked if it was a smaller rose and it didn't take the full amount of the head up. Um, but yeah, again, pink as well. So this particular pink colour is what I actually mixed in with the jasmine eye and I didn't need a lot either. So it looked really, really well um, and went really well with it. But I did actually use this and coloured the mold as well um, which then gave that a lovely effect so this is the jasmine that's mixed in i've added the mica powder in um this was definitely a challenge because this particular pour that i'm doing here wasn't enough i had to then remix some off camera to fill that mold um i actually thought that this would be more than enough to fill this particular school mold um that much so <laughs> that i actually got my overpour mold ready because i actually thought i'd mixed too much i didn't i didn't mix enough um it does go a long way um but i love the color of this um and with obviously the dusting of the micro powder on the outside of the mold as well it picked up that iridescent color as well um i was very very pleased and very very excited about this little project um because it's the first time that i've done it in light colors i did use darker colors on the last one so i used purple and black um and i used mainly um a lot more resin than i did at this stage but yeah i did not have enough so trying to remix it um, and redo another lot, another batch and try and get that colour exactly the right amount. Yeah, that was definitely one big challenge for me. But to be fair, the good thing is, is it cures really fast. Um, this was ready to demold after 30 minutes. Um, but I did have to make another batch quickly to fill that mould to the brim. But yeah, that this was it set 30 minutes after and I always use my cups so this is the two cups to make sure it was cured so yeah just making sure that the cups break apart and you can see that it is ready to demold this is probably one of the hardest molds to demold for me I don't have the strength in my hands but at this stage I can still feel the warmth from the jasmine I but I didn't want it to start sweating. So at the point that the cups, I can, I know it's ready. I started to demold this. Um, definitely one of the hardest <laughs> is trying to work out which part needs to come out first. But I was so, 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 so excited. Um, absolutely loved the schools. They seem to be my niche at the minute. It's I've just fallen in love with this particular mold. Um. But this particular colour, because I did a dark one before, and I've also done a commission for my friend, this one was a bit of a, I like the pink. And you can see the mica powder, the two different colours of the mixture, um, because obviously I didn't have enough the first time. But wow, look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at it. And the rose just, it's really, you know what, I'm buzzing from this. Absolutely love it. Um, again, I'm pointing out the two colours. Um, I didn't quite get the second batch exactly the same colour as the first batch that ran out. Um, but you can see the iridescent uh, mica powder that I used on it. Um, but yeah, and this light as well, although it was absolutely gorgeous with the sunshine, it just doesn't do it justice. It You can't see it very well, but I did rest it on here to allow it to dry fully. But this is it. 
in my artificial light absolutely beautiful that bubbles everything it was gorgeous but thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe but yeah very happy with this <music>